Hello, guys. Uh, welcome back to Maison African Motives. Uh, still on engineering science and three uh, working with past exam papers and revisions on electricity. From the question paper of November 2020, we are given the first part of the question to differentiate between uh, the potential difference, which is the PD, and the EMF, which is the electromagnetic uh, uh, force. Uh, electromotive force, sorry. So in this case, uh, we are given in this case, uh, let me just show you the best definition that we can have. Uh, for the potential difference, we have got uh, of a cell is the voltage measured at the poles of a cell when the current flows through it. And uh, for the EMF, which is the electromotive force. So the electromotive force of a cell is the voltage measured at the poles of a cell where no current flows through it. Okay, so that is uh, what we had in this case from our definitions to differentiate, just define uh, the terms. Okay, then on 7.2, we've got four cells, each of EMF two volts and re internal resistance of uh, 0,5 uh, ohms per cell are connected in series. Okay, so this battery is then connected in series with the two parallel resistors of three ohms and six ohms. Okay, so uh, let's just have a sketch. We've got four cells which are combined in series. All right, so this is going to give us a single uh, battery. In this case, I'm just going to calculate the total E uh, for the four cells. But after this combination, we are told that it is later connected in series to two resistors which are in parallel. So we have got uh, two resistors here, which are in parallel like this. All right, so this is what we are going to have uh, at the end. So let's take the total EMF uh, to build up a battery, which is two volts, they are in series. So in series, we are going to add them. So they are four, so we're going to just multiply. So our E is going to be two times the four volts uh, which is going to give us eight volts. So our E in this case, it's eight volts. Then we need the total uh, internal resistance. So the internal resistance we're given each is got 0 0,5 ohms and they are four in series. So if they are four in series, you're going to add them together. So to add the four simply means you're multiplying. So that's 0 0,5 times four which is going to give us uh, two ohms in this case. So we've got two ohms. All right, then uh, when connected now, it's connected in parallel to two resistors, the three ohm and the six ohm. So we've got uh, the first resistor and the second resistor in parallel. So this is our R1, this is our R2. So we're given that the first resistor is three ohms and the second one is six ohms and we are required to calculate the total resistance of this second. So what is going to be the total resistance? So if you are to check here, we have got two resistors in parallel. If you combine this, this is going to give us a series second like this nature. We are going to remain with our battery in this case with its internal resistance. And we shall have a single resistor representing the parallel second. So that means our total resistance is going to be the total internal resistance plus the parallel uh, combination that we are going to obtain in this case. So that means our RRT is equivalent to RRT plus the parallel circuit of RRP. So we can calculate RRP aside, or we can just substitute everything into this uh, since we know that uh, for a parallel combination, the total resistance in parallel it's a product times the sum of resistors. So it's product of resistors, which is R1 times R2. Whatever that we get, we add, which is R1 plus R2. So that's what you're going to have in this case. So that means the total resistance for the circuit is going to be RT, which is the total internal resistance of two ohms. So that will be two ohms in this case, plus the product over sum of the resistors, which means we are back to these two resistors in parallel three and six. So that's three by six over three plus six product over sum. So it's going to be three times six 
over 3 plus 6, okay? So let's simplify this so that we can check what we have in the parallel combination. If you multiply 3 times 6, divide by 3 plus 6, this is going to be 2, and 2 plus 2, that's 4 ohms. So this is the total resistance of the circuit, which means the parallel combination here, we've got 2 ohms, the, the internal resistance, it was 2 ohms, so it's 2 plus 2, just uh, because it's now in series, okay? So that is how you were supposed to attempt this typical question uh, that we are given. All right, then the total current flow, we have the total resistance and also we have got the total voltage of the circuit, which is our E in this case, which is the total uh, EMF, which is eight volts in this case. We can divide to obtain the total current. Uh, remember that, uh, so this is 7.22. So you have to remember that current is equivalent to voltage over resistance. So if it is the total current, we are going to use the total voltage, which is our E over the total uh, resistance in this case. So that means our total current is going to be E, uh, which is eight volts from the total EMF. We got eight volts in this case, divided to the total resistance of the whole circuit of four ohms. So this will give us our current of two amps. Remember current guys is measured in amps. So that is what uh, we are going to have in this case. All right, let's check uh, the other part of the question also. Uh, the internal voltage drop. So we need the internal voltage drop in this case. So we are supposed to have this from the internal resistance. Take note, when we are having this total current, it's going to be uh, flowing through this circuit as uh, a series circuit now. So that means at the at this RRT, that is where we are going to have our total internal uh, voltage in this case. So the total current is the same throughout. It's going to be the same. So we are going to take advantage of that. That current is the same. So therefore, uh, the total internal uh, voltage in this case is going to be uh, the light. It's, it's going to be a voltage drop actually. So this is uh, V. Okay, let's put it this way. So this is going to be 7.23. Uh, so we're going to have a voltage drop in this case, which is going to be uh, the total current times the total of the internal resistance. So our total current in this case is two times the total uh, resistance for the internal resistors, that is two ohms. So two times two, that is four. So there's a voltage drop of four volts in this case. All right, so that is how you can actually calculate uh, these uh, typical questions. All right, let's check the other part of 7.3. Now we are given a single phase transformer that is got a supply voltage of 220 volts on the prime and the primary current. So remember the primary, that is where we have got our supply. So we're given VP of 220 volts and a primary current of 36 milliamps. So we've got a primary current of 36 uh, milliamps in this case at full load. The secondary voltage is at 110 volts in this case. So calculate the first part on 7.31, the tens ratio. So the tens ratio is taken from NP over NS. So remember that, uh, NP from your formula sheet over NS is equal to VP over VS, which is equal to IS over IP. So you're going to choose information that is full where we have got everything in this case. We do not have current, we've got voltage. So because here we do not have even the number of tens. So you can take advantage with this ratio of voltages. So that means NP uh, over NS, which is the ratio of tens NP, over NS is going to be VP over VS, which is our VP is 220 divided by VS of 110. So if we divide, we are going to obtain two in this case. So that means our tens ratio is going to be two S to one, which is two, this is two over one. So it means two S to one, okay? Then on 7.32, the secondary current at full load, okay? Remember this current is at full load. So that means our secondary current is also going to be at full load. So we can equate 
the tens ratio, since we know that NP over NS is two over one, we can take that as an advantage. NP over NS is equivalent to IS over IP from this formula. And we simplified NP over NS, we got two over one. So we just have to equate to IS, which is the current on the secondary over the current on the primary of 36 milliamps. So this is 36, knowing that your answer is going to be in milliamps because you used milliamps on your calculations. So cross multiply one times IS, that is our IS is equal to uh, 36 times two, which is 72. So this will be 72 milliamps. So like I said, we used milliamps on our calculation. So also on our final answer, we must have this in milliamps. All right, then the power at out at full load. So since this secondary current is at full load, definitely our power also is going to be at full load. And we understand that power is equivalent to voltage times current. So we can use the output voltage uh, on the secondary in this case, which is 110. So we can use 110 times the current on the output at full load, which is 72 milliamps. That's 72 times 10 to the exponent of negative three for milliamps. Uh, that will give us something like 7.92 watts. So this power is measured in watts. All right, so that is what we had uh, for the power at full load from this information. That was to mark uh, 14 marks for everything. Okay, so that was question seven, guys. 14 marks, just uh, this. Okay, so guys, let's revise as much questions as possible. This can actually help us in our revisions. So that's what we had, guys, from electricity, uh, from the question paper of November 2020 from Amazon African Motives till we meet again.